Hey guys, welcome to New Master That Solo Lesson. I'm going to show you how to play Derek Frigo's solo to a new thing by Enough's Enough in this lesson. Um, I'm in standard tuning for this. I also have a delay on here. I've got it at dotted eighth setting, which is about 346 milliseconds uh, for the BPM 130 for this. If you want to get that kind of delay sound in this, because that's one of the big things about the solo, that kind of uh, delay effect on it. So the first phrase in the solo sounds like this. So the solo kicks off with these really cool uh, pinch harmonics with bends. Now, the general gist for the solo is round about a kind of a B mixolydian sound, round about the seventh fret here. So I've got this kind of scale shape. <laughs> Derek Fugo uses a lot of the notes here. So what we're actually starting off with here is we're effectively bending on the major third of that scale. So I'm on the eighth fret of the G string here. And what I'm going to be doing is playing a pinch harmonic to get a note two octaves above. So for me, it's roughly in between the two humbuckers here in this guitar. But that's what you're aiming for. The pinch harmonics and can be quite hit or miss depending on what you're doing there. So when I'm playing it, this is the way I hold the pick, I kind of angle it like that, but I'm making sure that the flesh of my thumb is hitting that uh, harmonic note as I push through the string with the, the string here. It's one of the cool things about this solo, and I guess Derek Frigo's kind of technique, he really makes these pinch harmonics scream. So you hit that, and you're going to bend a half step up. So what you're aiming for is bending up that major third to kind of like perfect fourth. So you bend up a half step and then hit it again and give it a good bit of vibrato. Then you do that again. And then what you do is go up a half step to that um, perfect fourth and I'm going to bend up a full step here. Again I'm hitting the pinch harmonic two octaves above. And then I let it off. And once I'm releasing it, I come down. So what I'm doing here is effectively coming down the scale in a way. So I'm going to be playing 8, 9, 8. And then I'm going to do 9, 7 in the D string. Notice I'm using my first and second finger for that. Also I'm doing the bends with these second fingers here. My second finger. Then I use second finger here. Which sets me up for my first finger of the 8th fret. So yeah, 8, 9, 8 in the G string, 9, 7 in the D. Then I'm going to do this little chromatic run to get to this major third tier, 6th fret of that A string. So do 9, 8, 7, and then 6. And again, that's kind of like a semi hip pinch harmonic. Because you're on the, the wound string, it doesn't ring as bell-like as it does in the kind of plain string, the G string. But I'm aiming again for two octaves above. And then you dip with a bar, yeah? So, slowly that opening bit sends it this. In this descending phrase, you could play it all with downstrokes just to give that extra edge, because the notes do sound as if in the break of being kind of semi-pinch harmonics. Yeah, just make it pop out a bit more, yeah? Next phrase sounds like this. So after we've dipped with the bar, we're now going to jump to 7th fret, that high E string. And try and give a little bit of a wiggle with the bar if you can there. Then what I'm going to do is basically, I'm kind of outlining like an E major triad here. I'm going to play 9 in the G string and then 9 in the B string. But what I'm going to be doing again is aiming for this 2 octave above. They can be a little bit trickier to pop out, just because I guess the B string's a little bit thinner. You've got a smaller target, but you're aiming for that. Yeah, and when you hit that ninth fret, pinch harmonic, you dip the bar. It's going down about like two and a half steps. But you just dip basically until you play the next note. Then from there I'm going to slide to the eleventh fret of the G string with my middle finger. And then my third finger plays the 11th fret of that high E string. Yeah. Probably still holding the arm here. 
so you can give it a bit of vibrato. Then I'm going to play 10th fret the B string, and then a whole step bend, 12th fret on that high E string. Plenty of vibrato, yeah? So you have this kind of building, kind of melodic phrase. So it goes. Yeah? Next phrase sounds like this. So we're getting to the climax of the solo, so we have this really epic uh, run up the neck, the big bend at the end, real classic kind of way to end a solo. So, as I mentioned earlier, this is really based around all this kind of scale shape here for like a B mixolydian. And what uh, Derek Frigo does here is he's, he's going to sequence up this with a legato. So, the timing of this is interesting because it kind of flows naturally. So I'm not going to worry too much about, you know, play six notes here or whatever. Let's think about the kind of pattern of it, the kind of flow. So what you're going to start off with, you're going to slide middle finger five to seven on the E string. Okay, so that's your kind of lead in. Then what you're going to do is play six, seven, nine on the A string, all hammer-ons, one, two, four with the fingers. Same thing on the D string. So slowly you go. Okay, that's kind of your first um, kind of section in a row. Then from here, what you're going to do is, you've just added ninth fret of the, the D string there, pull off to six, slide up with the first finger. So you're now shifting position. And from here, you hammer 9 and 11 on that D string. So that kind of goes. Yeah. Then what you're going to do is hammer 8, 9 on that G string. Up to 11. Back down to 9, 8. And then 11 on that uh, D string there. And then you continue. Hammer 8, 9, 11 in the G string. And then 9, 10, 12 on the B string. Notice it's all one, two, four patterns I'm doing here with the fingers. And then I pull off 12 to 9. And then slide up the neck. Okay. So slowly that kind of goes. Now working that up to speed, it's kind of one of these phrases that you kind of want to, you can mentally break it down into these chunks just to kind of map out the fingerboard, but you want to play it as one big whole phrase. Yeah, and just kind of think of the space that you're filling with it. Yeah, and that will help with the flow when you begin to, you know, speed it up. Now the last section sounds like this. So after we've done a big legato run, basically we've just done slid up the neck. First finger is with the slide. I would use the third finger here now to play 21st fret of that B string. And then I'm going to do this little run, 17, 19, 21 on the high E string. And then when I get to that 21st fret, I bend, whole step up for that real climatic end to the solo. So following on from the legato run you have... big bend at the end there. Make sure you get vibrato on that bend as well. Okay, and that's it. So it's a really short solo, it's only eight bars, but I think the thing that's really, really um, cool about it is the use of the pinch, pinch harmonics to get that real kind of screaming melodic vibe to it. Just playing it. Just playing it without the pinch harmonics doesn't have the same impact, so it really has that kind of emotive quality to it. And the big legato run in it as well, it's just that little bit of flash, that little bit of um, intensity that leads up to your classic rock solo ending in the big high bend, just with the kind of climatic full stop, okay? So have fun with that. I want to say a huge thanks uh, to David and Patreon for suggesting some Enough's Enough. I haven't listened to them for ages. And Derek Fiegel was a fantastic player who's unfortunately no longer with us, unfortunately due to drugs, but um, if you want, you should check out YouTube and see if you can catch some of the live footage of them. They're pretty raw, you know, they were pretty um, loaded all the time, enough's enough, but you'll see some uh, glimpses of Derek Fugo's brilliance when he's playing live, and he's control the whammy bar and pinch harmonics and everything. Now, if you're after the Helix patch for this lesson or some more lesson materials, 
um, or the Sound Slice page for this lesson actually as well, you can check out Master the Guitar Patreon where all that stuff is available to patrons. As usual, uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, and notification bell if you want to be kept up to date. Uh, with lessons when they're uploaded and you can also check out Master, Master the Guitar on uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram as well which is some extra things up there that you won't see on YouTube. So thanks for watching guys, hopefully that was helpful and I'll see you soon.